Welcome to Flipping Miami, a podcast for those who want to learn real estate investing, do more, and make more. Now, here is your host, Raul Balufe. What is up, my people? What is up? What is up? Welcome to this new episode of my flipping show, Raul's Flipping Show, Raul Flipping Miami. Um, I am from Miami, and we are real estate investors. And today, today I got a good episode. It's just going to be me talking for a little bit. But I'm going to talk about, I'm talking today about marketing, but most importantly, why wholesalers why investors, why flippers are failing in 2019 in today's market, right? Everyone talks about, um, at least everyone in the industry is talking about deals being tight, deals being harder to get, flips being, um, wholesale spreads being uh, lower, uh, fix and flip spreads getting really, really tight, repair costs going up, all these negative things about this, what's going on in 2019. And you want, to, you want to know the worst part? They're right. Now, are there a select amount of people crushing it, fucking killing it in this business right now, fucking making millions, making um, 40K wholesale fees, doing 15 deals a month? Yes. And those people are right. So no matter what you think, you're right. Okay? If you think the market's hard, if you think this shit sucks, you're right. If you think, if you see a light, if you see that there's a way to make a ton of money, you're right. It's up to you. Now, enough, that's enough fluff for this episode. Um, I'm going to get deep into it, right? Marketing. What is the marketing that's working in 2019 right now? Um, so just to give you a little background, a little kind of like backtrack a little bit of what we do in our business, where we do a lot of MLS. We get a lot of deals on the multiple listing service, online auctions. Um, through realtors, referrals, things like that. We also do a lot of direct mail. We have some cold callers and we do some signs, banded signs and SEO and very little PPC. PPC, we spend, you know, less than 5,000 a month on PPC, um, on pay per click, Google ads, Facebook ads, things like that. Now, the biggest investors I've talked to, mail, direct mail, is still their most profitable source. It is for us. It is for the top five people I know that are doing deals. Unless they're not doing mail at all. I, I know people that um, are very, very successful and they don't do mail at all. They just have a huge call center or they do they do really big on online. But people that are doing mail, mail is still their most profitable center. Believe it or not. Now, there's a caveat to this mail thing. It's expensive. Our leads are costing us about 250 bucks a lead, a call. So that's not cheap, okay? And, you know, it's taking probably about 25 to 30 uh, leads, not calls, leads to get a deal. Our, obviously, our conversion rate is not perfect, whatever. I'm just telling you the numbers that actually exist. Now, here's a caveat. Up to now, we've been one-trick ponies. So the reason I came out with this episode is because I am on the negative side of it. I have not been doing as well as we used to. I am a product of suffering from this 2019 shit that I let ourselves suffer from. Meaning, it's our fault that we didn't adapt quick enough. It's my fault that I didn't understand marketing better. It's my fault I didn't understand how to do more deals faster. Okay, But let me go into what I'm learning because we're, we're starting to see the light. So stick around if you guys are interested in seeing the light. Um, marketing, direct mail. Let's talk about direct mail real quick. Direct mail involves a list, a mail piece, postcard, letter, whatever, and involves a process behind it, which is you're going to get a list. Um, you're going to send the mail to it. You're going to send your postcard or your letter. Then you're going to have a process behind it. You're going to have people answering the phone or you whatever, and you're going to have people going on the appointment or you, and then, you know, obviously lock up the deal and sell it. Now there's a really, 
big missing piece that I did not realize until recently. And that is, there are many deals to be done. Not only do direct mail, but in our direct mail leads, that is not only cash. These creative financing structures, these subject twos, these owner finance, these owner finance, these lease options, this is absolutely happening every fucking day. And if you're doing this, if you're not doing this, sorry, if you're not doing this, you're absolutely losing deals. And I am product of this. I have never done one. And I've been in the business for five years and done probably close to 400 deals at this point. And I've never done one, ever. I could, and my, my mind started opening up when I started going to all my appointments again, right? You know, you grow a company and the idea of a company is you have, uh, you delegate and you have people working with you and, and stuff like that. So I had acquisitions guys for about a year and a half. I haven't really gone on much appointments. I think last year I counted, I went on probably, I think 25 appointments the whole year, um, which is bullshit. I should have gone on more. That was, that was me being stupid, to be honest. I should have gone on more. It's not like we're making millions to for me not to do it, but whatever. You live and you learn. So now I'm going on a, a lot more appointments. I'm trying to go on eight a week. And for me going on these appointments and talking to these sellers and hearing what they actually need, these people need creative deals. It's not even like they want them. It's not like, it's not like oh, it's up to us to determine. The, no, no. These people need creative deals. A lot of these people have no, uh, you know, very little equity, a high motivation. They can't sell it with a realtor because they're going to lose money. So a creative deals their way out. A lot of people have high equity, but don't want to list with a the realtor. They don't want to wait the time. They need to sell, but they know they have equity and they're not dumb. So what do you do? Creative deals. And I'm going to do another podcast on creative deal structure. I'll probably do a video on it and, um, and maybe put it on YouTube and, or put it here or something to show you. I, I built a little spreadsheet. I built a spreadsheet and how I run through numbers and stuff. I, man, I would really suggest guys, guys and girls, I'd really suggest diving really deep, listening to podcasts, going on bigger pockets, going on forums, talking to people you know that do creative deals, get really deep into stuff. So I spent like a week. Like completely nerding out. I felt like a kid again. I felt like I was learning wholesale all over again. Cause there's a whole nother world in creative finance and there is a ton of money in creative finance. So the reason I, the reason I came out with this episode today is number one, because I'm seeing it with me. I'm a product. I am the, I am the, on the shitty end of this 2019 market wholesale shit. And I'm starting to realize how important creative finance is. How important consistent marketing is. Um, and when I say consistent marketing is we're doing the mail. We've been profitable in mail, but there's a lot of things we could do better, right? Um, we're a little sloppy with some things, uh, meaning getting the list, getting the mail out on time, um, converting our appointments quicker, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of things we could be better. And now that I'm going on these appointments, I'm realizing like, shit, we could have been here earlier. Shit, we should have set this appointment yesterday. Damn it, we should have um, came ready to to close the subject two deal right here. Damn, we should have qualified. If we know they have a mortgage, we should ask for their info. Shit, this, shit, that. So it's so important, guys. Stay marketing. Stay doing the shit that's important, making offers. And most importantly, in this 2019 market, if you're not learning creative deals, you are slipping big fucking time, right? I told you in the first episode, I hope you guys listen to it. I do say some bad words. I try to cut it down so it's not so crazy. Um, but I, I get passionate about this stuff and it's just the way I fucking express myself. Damn, I said it again. <laughs> Anyways, guys, learn that shit. I will be putting up um, a video or a podcast about this soon. So be on the lookout for that. My YouTube channel is at Raul Balufe. You don't have to add it. You just type in Raul Balufe and you'll see my YouTube channel there. Um, also, I do some Instagram lives, some Facebook lives. I might do one about this. I'm not sure. But if I do, you might, you're going to want to catch it at Raul Balufe for both. Um, guys, stay marketing, stay consistent, keep crushing it. There's still tons of deals out there. When you find this creative shit and you start realizing how many deals you're missing out on and how many deals exist, you're going to be like, damn it, I have to do more marketing. 
damn it, I have to get more consistent. I got to go on more appointments. I got to do this. I got to do that. Go out there and crush it, guys. Even in this crazy market, believe me, South Florida, if you guys are in South Florida or if you're not, if you're in a hot market, South Florida is a really hot market. I mean, we got some of the top funds here. We got some of the top brokerages in the world here. We got um, everyone and their mothers, investors. There's tons of South American money buying deals left and right that don't make any sense. There's everyone's a wholesaler. There's a ton, whatever. There's a ton of shit. It's a bunch of bullshit. Because at the end of the day, there's so much abundance. Anyone can do deals. Now, what's going to separate you from being the old you or being the new you? The old you does two deals a month. That's not the, the you that you want to be to make millions and be financially free. Now, how are you going to get to that new you? How are you going to be the new you? You got to learn new shit. Creative shit. Creative financing, seller financing, in this specific case, right? You got to learn new marketing shit, mail. If you're already good at mail, do cold calling. If you're good at cold calling, do RVMs, do signs, do online. Learn new shit, do new shit, so you can get new results. Guys, I hope this fucking episode was good for you and valuable and you learned some shit. I definitely learned some shit every time I speak, so I'm a little selfish, but... I really, really enjoy giving back and talking to you, talking on this on this podcast. And please feel free to reach out to us. Um, you can reach me, RaulBalufit.com. Um, you can find me there. Find me on Instagram, at RaulBalufit. Facebook, at RaulBalufit. YouTube, at RaulBalufit. If you don't know my name by now, you're an idiot. Uh, get off my show. Mess with you guys. One love. Um, I'll see you guys. Catch you on the next one.